pursuit of a speeding vehicle. 10 4. Hey, here he comes. Hey! What's up? Hey, Vito. Take a seat. All right, listen. I've been doing some research into Carlo's business. So? So, the only reason he had Clemente killed was because he was selling dope, too. And he was stealing his customers. Now he just needs to get rid of one last obstacle. The one guy who could fuck things up and ruin his plan to become the main supplier for the whole city. Frank Vinci. Where'd you get all this? I talked to a few people I trust. Okay, so what does this have to do with us? Cause, if he can do it, why can't we? A kilo of heroin costs 2,500 bucks over in France. Then it's another thousand bucks to get it here. And? And we pick up 11 grand for just driving the stuff to the dealers. That's 7,500 bucks profit a mm. kilo. Yeah, but what about Falcon? Carlo won't find out. And even if he does, he'll just threaten us and demand a cut. All right, but if Carlo's the only big supplier in the city, where are you going to buy the stuff from? I'm way ahead of you. What do you two know about the Tongs? The Chinks? Some kind of organization for Chinese immigrants, right? That's what I said, the Chinks. Right, but it's also a front for their other operations. They run the Chinese quarter, and they keep to themselves. But some of them are interested in doing business with outsiders, and they need middlemen since most people are afraid to deal with them. And we're the middlemen. Yep. They'll give us 10 kilos to start. For how much? 35 grand. And we can sell it for... 110. Nice. Okay, well, where the hell are we gonna get our hands on 35 grand? I know a loan shark, the Yid over on Palisade. I think a loan is 35, we give him 45 back. Now that means our take is over 20 grand a piece. Not bad for just moving the shit from one place to another. But you know, who's gonna end up using this crap? What do you care? As long as it isn't an animal. Of course, Vinci was right. Drugs are bad news, they kill people. Look, only idiots do drugs. Deadbeats and losers. If they want to kill themselves so badly, I'd gladly help them out. Especially for 20 grand. I got buyers in the ghetto. They'll take care of the distribution. So we don't need to worry about that. Are you guys in or not? I'm in. Come on, don't be stupid, Vito. 20 fucking grand in one afternoon. <sighs> when? Right now. If we don't take the offer, the towns will just find somebody else. Come on, Vito. It'll be a piece of cake. Let's go see Bruno then. Vito, how about you run us all down there? He's on Palisade Street. Okay, let's go. So who's this guy we're gonna see, Henry? His name's Bruno. Ten four. He's one of the only guys in town who could do a loan this big. What if he doesn't give it to us, then what? Then the deal's off. But don't worry, I know this guy. He'll give us the money. There ain't nobody else we can get this kind of money from? There's three of the guys I know of. But if you want to ask Carlo or Frank Vinci for 35 grand, be my guest. Yeah, no thanks. Who's the third guy? He ain't in business no more. Somebody blew up a room full of his guys and shot him point-blank in the face with a Tommy gun. Oh, that guy. Come on, we said we wasn't gonna talk about that. All right, so, Henry, what is this guy, Rich or something? 
I think he gets his money from some of the bosses from out of town who sit on the commission. Yeah? Oh, shit. Yeah, which is why we can't stiff the guy. Besides, we gotta keep this quiet. Can we trust him? Sure. Wise guy's been borrowing money from this guy forever. As long as we pay him back. All right, stop right here, Vito. My mistake, sir. Hi, fellas. We're here to see Bruno. Hiya, Henry. If you got guns on you, put them down there. I gotta search this. Hiya, Bruno. Hello, Henry. So, to what do I owe the pleasure of your company today? I need 35 grand and 20 dollar bills. Oh, that's a lot of money, Henry. A lot of money, tell me. Why should I give that much to a small-time guy like you, huh? Convince me. I got a short thing. You'll have 45 by the end of the week. What kind of sure thing? Sorry, Bruno. That's a trade secret. Then 45 is not enough. I'd be more comfortable with 65. It's a bit steep, even for you. 50 is all I can do. Henry, Henry, I have no guarantee I'll get my money back. And you have nowhere else to go. So, how about 60? Don't think of it as interest. It's more like my cut of the profits. 55, final offer. Anything more than that, it's not worth my time. Deal. I'll give you $35,000 today, and you'll give me 55000 by Friday. If you don't pay it back by then, the debt goes up by 10,000 every week. You'll get it by Friday. Okay. Isaac, prepare $35,000 in $20 bills. Now, you know I trust you, Henry, but if you screw me, remember these wise words from the Bible. And my wrath shall wax hot. And I will kill you with the sword, and your wives shall be widows, and your children fatherless. Exodus, chapter 22, verse 24. <laughs> I'm impressed. You don't seem like the church-going type. Uh, but just remember, the money isn't mine. So even if you get rid of me, that doesn't get rid of your debt. So no funny business, okay, boys? Sure, Bruno. Thank you, Isaac. You want to count it, Henry? I'll take your word for it, and I'll bring it back on Friday along with your cut. I hope so. Good luck, boys. Nice job, Henry. Of course. I told you give us the dough, didn't I? How come you know the Bible so good, Henry? You read it or something? Bruno always uses the same quote. I go to church on Sunday, so I asked the priest one time. You go to church? <laughs> yeah, and I can understand why you don't. 
They use big words. There's no hookers in the fool's lousy. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Jeez, I ain't been there since... 45. What? That time your mother made you go to confession? Yeah, that time she smacked me for checking out some chick's cool. Ah, I gotta rest her soul. How about you, Joe? How long's it been? Easter. Ah, that ain't too bad. 1941. I take that back then. You're going straight to hell. What, you just figuring that out now? Don't worry, I'll save seats for the boat these. You know, I heard about a loan shark named Bruno once. Must be the same guy. Yeah? What'd you hear? Well, you know Mickey the Crab, right? What, the guy who cleans the bathrooms at Carlos joint? Yeah, the guy who's only got a finger and a thumb on his left hand. Guess how that happened? I heard he owed a lot of money to some yid from Southport. You get my drift? Oh, right. I get the picture. Haha, <laughs> don't worry, though. Crab's a moron. Nothing like that's gonna happen to us. All right, we're almost there. Drive through the gate and into the yard. <laughs> you trying to kill us or what? What are you worried about? All right, follow me, fellas. And let me do all the talking. Hey, we got some business with your boss. Greetings, Mr. Tomasino. Welcome, Henry. Hello, Mr. Wang. Let us get straight to business. Is your suitcase heavy enough? See for yourself. Yo, Da, this is a bank zone of 20 million dollars. It's about $3,500,000. All right, take it away and bring the goods. You're a good man, Henry. Here is your merchandise. Each bag contains one kilo. Each kilo weighs a little more than two pounds. Which one do you want to test? Okay, we're good. I'm glad. Next time, we can give you twice the amount. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Wang. The pleasure was all mine. Knock it off. See how easy that was? Let's get back in the car. Alright, fellas, the hard part's over. Now we just gotta make the exchange and we're done. Sounds good to me. Where are we headed? Hunters. I got it all lined up. Hello, gentlemen. Fucking sick. I think you have something for us. Drop the suitcases. Hmm. Nice shoes. Wait a minute. These guys ain't cops. Kill the bastard! Shoot, Vito! Vito, watch our back. Back me up, Vito. Here comes more of them. Hold on. I got it. Nice. But there's still too many of them. Come on. Oh shit, can't go back that way. Run! Move your asses! Get out of there, Vito! Hey, I'm 
right in here, scumbag. Vito, watch our back. Stay away from these windows, fellas. No sense staying up here. Let's get down there. Vito, kick the door in. This one's mine. Please. Where the fuck is he? All right, showtime, Vito. Got him covered. Flank him. Let's go. I'm almost out of bullets over here. You okay? I'll cover your move. They teach you that in the army? Completely fucking useless. Kill that fuck! Showtime, Vito. That's the fucking best you got. Oh, you're in trouble. Got him. Come on, let's go. Hey, I got something for you. Ah, oh, you're fucking brilliant. Get me out here, fellas. <clears throat> Going in. Fucking close. It's not over yet. They're coming after us. Fuck! Lose them! You fucking uh, die already! I'll cover you! Move him! Got him! <laughs> oh, shit, you are right. You're fucking dead! Yeah. Uh. One's mine. What the fuck was that, Henry? No idea. 
Somebody else must have known about the deal. Those definitely weren't real cops. Maybe it was the chinks trying to fuck us. I doubt it. Look, I'll figure it out. But first, we gotta unload this stuff. Vito, take us to the old warehouse and haunt us. Alright, hope this deal goes better than the last one. It will. Not like it can go any worse, right? So who are we selling the stuff to? Uh, a bunch of different guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean a bunch of different guys? A bunch of different guys. What did all that shooting back there make you deaf? I thought you said we were just moving this garbage from one place to another. Yeah, well, you make a lot more money if you sell it in smaller amounts. Would have been really nice to know before I agreed to go in on this. If I did, from the way you were talking back in the park, you probably wouldn't have. Yeah, exactly. Hey, the here we are. Let me do the talking. These are tough guys, so no wise-ass comments. All right, Joe? Hey, guys, how you doing? Hey, man. Come on in. We hit the jackpot. Hey, 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 take it easy. We're not done yet. Lighten up, will you, Henry? What's the matter? All of a sudden, money don't make you happy? After we pay back Bruno and you get your cut, then you could be happy. All right. You ain't even gonna give me a tip? You want a tip? I'll give you a tip. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Always the gentleman, <laughs> huh, Joey? Just get the fuck out of here hey, already. Gina, wanna come join me? Hey, I hope there's room for three in there. Barbaro's Bordello. You got the money, we got the honeys. Vito, it's Henry. We got a problem. What kind of problem? Eddie paid me a visit. Carlo knows about the deal, and he sent Eddie to pick up his cut. Uh, how much? Sixty grand. Fuck, that much? What are we gonna do? I don't know. We don't even have enough left for Bruno. Meet me in the park. I don't want to talk about this over the phone. Okay. I'll be right there. Joe, we gotta go. For. Now, Joe. I'll tell you on the way. All right. Girls, lock up when you leave. Me and Vito got business. So what the hell's going on? That was Henry on the phone. Carlo found out about the deal. Ah, shit! Does he know he was involved? I don't think so. 
Let's talk about it in the car. Lincoln Park. We meeting Henry there? Yeah. All right, so what did Henry say on the phone? He okay? He sounded okay. But Carlo took his car to the take. Fuck. Just like Henry said he'd do if he found him. <clears throat> yeah, but now the problem is, we don't even got enough to pay Bruno back. Ah, shit. What the hell are we gonna do? I don't know. We'll figure it out when we get to the park. Yeah. Henry will know what to do. Henry's different these days. Yeah, he's got a real... What the, what the fuck? fuck's going on? <laughs> Shit, that's Henry! <laughs> what the fuck are they hitting him with? Oh, get on me! I'm going in! you boss! Fuck does something like this, Vito. Them people are fucking sick. Shit! Who the fuck does something like this? What do you think? God damn it, Henry! Damn it, Henry! Look at this, Vito. You fucking believe this? Yeah, the money's gone too. We gotta get out of here. Cops will take care of Henry. Hey. hey, that's the old guy who sold us the dope, Wong! Of all the ways to kill a guy, a goddamn bullet would have been enough. These bastards are sick in the head, Vito. They're gonna fucking die. All of them. I mean, why do it like that? And in the middle of the park. Like I said, they're sick. I'm gonna turn them into chop fucking suey. Hey, not for nothing. We don't even know how many of them there are. Yeah, and it don't matter. Hey, Henry's dead. What, do you want us to get killed too? We gotta do this smart, Joe. It don't matter how we do it. As long as they're fucking dead when we're done. All right, listen. There's probably more than two of them. So what? The more the fucking merrier. So there's only two of us. Unless maybe you want to call Carlo and tell him all about the mess we're in and ask him to send some guys over here. All right, fine. I get it. All right, so promise me you're not going to go in guns blazing as usual. We got to do this the smart way, all right?
Now we know where to find him. Let's get in there and take him out before he disappears with the money. Hold on, I'm gonna need some serious firepower first. We can either go to Harry's or we can kill these fucks right now. Just say the word. Gentlemen, this place for member only. Is your fucking membership? God damn it, Joe! Can't you listen to me for once? No, I can't. You seen what they done to Henry? God damn it, Joe! See? Why didn't you just bang the damn gun when you were? I get the asshole behind the bar. Watch out! They shoot from up top. You fuck with the wrong guy. Get you. Vito, let's move up. Get the guy on the stairs. He's over for you. <laughs> yep. Up there in a the window. Where are they all coming from? You are coming to China or something. One more, and we're done. That's it, Vito. Kill them all. Every last one of them. Come on, you little fucks. This is for Henry, you bastards. Where the hell is that? Ah! Don't matter. I got plenty of bullets left. Two more to go, and that's it. Quiet, Vito. Since when are you concerned about making noise? There's too many of them. Just take them out nice and quiet. Nice. All right, let's just sneak through here. Souls how to shoot. Oh. 
I amaze myself. Tell your boss I'm coming. <laughs> Going in! Come on, Vito! Show them who they fuck with! Alright, that was the last of them. See? Ain't so bad so far, right? Yeah, but what if somebody recognizes us and Carlo hears about it? That's why we ain't leaving no witnesses. There's probably more of them down here. Get ready. You're dead, you slanty-eyed fuck! What is it that you want? <laughs> what the fuck do you think we want? We want to know why you had our friend killed. We also want the money you took from him. I had no choice. Your friend was a government informer. What the what? fuck are you talking about? A contact inside the Federal Bureau of Narcotics told me that Henry Tomasino passed them information about our deal. That's a fucking lie! Whoa, whoa, whoa. You saying Henry was a rat? Yes. But not anymore. That's bullshit. Makes no sense. And I suppose you had nothing to do with the little stick-up after we closed the deal with you either, right? You think we would take such a stupid risk and destroy our own factory? That was just another reason to get rid of you. We had problems with you from the very beginning. Yeah. Well, all your problems are just about over, pal. So where's our money? It's not here anymore. What? Where the hell is it then? I cannot tell you. If you don't tell us, I'm gonna splatter your yellow brains all over this fucking room. If I told you, I'd be dead anyway. Fine, your choice. Are you crazy? What you wanna do, let him go or something? We could've gotten more out of him. Fuck that, he wouldn't have said nothing. These bastards are tough. <sighs> Let's just get the hell out of here before the cops come. This place won't be opening up for a while. If we had the time, I'd burn it to the damn ground. Where you going, Vito? That's the way we came in. Vito, come here. This should be the way. Ah, oh, fuck this. Come on, Vito. Let's get out of here. There's too many of them! Find us a car, quick! This guy's a maniac! We gotta take him down! Roger that. Back me up, Vito! Oh, another one! Officer down! Down. Officer down! Shoot this asshole! Ten four. All right, we lost it. Take me to my place, Vito. I need a fucking drink. That was, uh, was fucked up, huh? Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. Just get me back to my place, would you? All right.
Only the finest attire for a man such as yourself. Please come again, sir. deal was a total fucking disaster. Tell me about it. Henry's dead. We don't have Bruno's money. We killed half the Tongs. And if they think Carlo sent us, it'll mean war. Psh, we're fucked. Yeah. And if Carlo finds out we got him into this mess... What if Henry really was a rat? No fucking way. Don't even say that. Look, first let's get the money for Bruno. That'll fix at least one problem. But I'm done for today. I need a drink. I'll call you in the morning. We'll figure this shit out. All right. Okay, I'll see you later. And Vito, be careful. Sound like I'm ready. You just woke me up. So get the fuck up. We don't get the money for Bruno today. We're fucked. Where the hell are we gonna get our hands on 55 grand, huh? I don't know. We sure as hell ain't gonna find it laying around in bed. I got something for starters. A job from Eddie with a big payout. No shit? Yeah, I'll pick you up in a few minutes. So get dressed, grab a gun, and wait for me outside. I'll tell you more in the car. This better not be one of your brilliant ideas, Joe. Hey, I'm not in the mood. Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to snap at you. I'm still half asleep over here. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So you win or not? Sure, why not? How long till you get here? I'm calling from the gun shop around the corner. I'll be in your place in a minute. All right, I'll wait for you out back. I'll see you soon. 